Let's go, Maryland! Good evening from College Park. The Howard Band plays on behind us. They were pretty good. Howard football team, not so much. Maryland 62, Howard nothing. I'm Wayne Viner. That's Jack Rothenberg. This is the Big Dog Post Game Show. We'll get to Bruce back in the studio in a moment. Jack, did you see anything you did not like from your Maryland Tigers? The 62 to nothing game, there's not going to be much that you don't like. I'm going to mention two players, Corian Bennett on defense. He was absolutely amazing. He's been making plays. He made plays last week. He made plays tonight. He's going to be big for this defense this season. Also, Dante Demas. He's one of those guys who can just throw it up to him. He's going to go up there. He's going to make a play. And he, he's a great route runner as well. So he, he's a big-time player. Maryland used every body they had, so it seemed. Uh, you mentioned that they played six Maryland backs against five when we got a touchdown tonight. So that was good. Not Not... No complaints. The only thing I know Bruce is going to bring up is they might have left Leah in there a little too long. They had some starters of phenomenal numbers. You mentioned Demas with had six catches. Uh, Leo's 20 for 23 for 27. The defense until the very end didn't give up a third down. Until the last drive, Howard was 0 for 11 on third down. Maryland totally dominates. Once again, this is a Big Dog Post Game Show. We'll be back after this commercial message. Our clients have trusted us. We need to reward that trust, and we have, with great results and great service. Call the Big Dogs, the Jack Lynch Law Group. Back at Maryland Stadium as the Gatorade Coolers go by in the background. The Howard Band continues to play on. The halftime show was pretty good. Do you like go go music? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was a little long for me. <laughs> it, it, it was fun to have both bands out there. Uh, there's not much, when you win by this much, not much to talk about. But what you can say is it's 2 and 0 for your Terps. They go to Champaign, Illinois on Friday night. You can catch them on BTN. Illinois, they beat Nebraska for the first time out. They lose to Texas San Antonio. They get pounded by Virginia today. Jack, what do you see this season at? I think it's headed definitely in the right direction, especially next week. I'm excited to see Leo in his first away environment. As a turf, he hasn't played away in front of fans, so I'm excited to see how he responds to that. Especially it being a night game, it starts at 9 o'clock, and we'll see if this offense can travel not playing in College Park. Uh, the defense, I think the defense, man, a uh, guy that we hadn't seen before, Tate Chai uh, Johnson, where's number 40? Big difference maker in the middle. Uh, Damian Robinson, the highly rated recruit from Prince Orchard, got a lot of run tonight. You have your uh, Spriggins and the, and the other new linebacker, 44, who's still the station for the moment. They look really good. I'm excited to see them in Big Ten play. If, a big if, but you're not supposed to do this, but if you beat Illinois, if you beat Kent State, you're going to have Iowa here with a chance to go to 5-0. Iowa beat Iowa State today. That's going to be a good one. That'll be Maryland's Friday Night Lights. For Jack Rothenberg, I'm Wayne Viner. Bruce is away from the microphone.